Some creatures are stranger than fiction. Here are 10 animals whose evolution went utterly wrong. Number 10, Angora Rabbit. There are tons of weird creatures out in the world, and some of them even look like mutants of other animals. One fantastic example of this is the Angora Rabbit, one of the world's furriest and fluffiest animals native to Turkey. Honestly, it has so much fur on its body that you can't even tell that it's an actual rabbit. These animals were originally bred by humans hundreds of years ago to serve as a popular pet for royalty and also because of the long fibers of their coat. Known as Angora wool, but they only gained mass attention during World War II. This was when their production expanded to meet the demand of more than 120,000 pounds of Angora wool a year. The Angora rabbits are also quite sensitive and smart, so if you want to pet them, you better be ready and willing to do some extra work. Number nine, fainting goat. Another strange mammal on this list with a truly bizarre genetic condition is the fainting goat, a perfect name for it. When you look at it, it looks like any other goat, nothing too unusual, but don't get mistaken. The fainting goat, more commonly known as the stiff leg goat, or even the nervous goat at times, is indigenous to North America and specifically known for the vulnerable fainting condition. When they get startled, their muscles can freeze, leaving them totally helpless for a few moments. They may even fall sometimes, but they don't actually faint. It's more like they're paralyzed because they never lose consciousness. The strange muscle lockup is caused by a rare genetic condition, and at one point, it even led them very close to extinction. Would you dare adopt them? It would be an exciting experience you wouldn't want to miss, but it's better to be on the safe side personally. After all, who wants to get a mini heart attack every time their pet keels over? Number eight, kiwi bird. In general, flightless birds are supposed to be large and menacing, but the kiwi birds apparently did not get the memo. Though they have a large round body with a massive beak, the kiwis are pretty much defenseless and only a mere 5% of them born in the wild survive before reaching breeding age. Native to New Zealand, the kiwi bird is recognized as an icon of the country and was able to survive there due to the island's lack of natural predators. Since then, however, its survival has been greatly threatened by growing numbers of invasive mammalian predators, such as dogs, cats, pigs, and ferrets. Many kiwis mate for life. Sometimes, though, the female will find a male she likes better and leave her current spouse. At least they don't have kiwi dating apps. Number seven, the pygmy three-toed sloth. Endemic to a small island off the coast of Panama, the pygmy three-toed sloth has one of the smallest habitat ranges of any animal. The entire species resides in a 1.7 square mile area of the island, inhabiting exclusively mangrove trees. A genetically independent sloth species, through insular dwarfism, these sloths are believed to have been separated from their original population when the island split from mainland Panama about 9,000 years ago. Their isolation further decreased their size and survivability. As a result of their lack of defenses, these sloths are critically endangered. In fact, a 2011 study showed that there are only an estimated 79 dwarf sloths left on the island. It is also believed that the habitat degradation and other natural causes will further whittle the population down. By 2025, only a handful of these adorable sloths will remain in the wild. Number six, Saturnid moths. Saturnid moths, meaning from the family Saturnidae, also known as giant silk moths, do not have mouths once they become adults and are doomed to die of starvation. As they will never eat again once they become adults, in their caterpillar phase, they can eat two to three times their own body weight, growing in size over a thousand times in the course of a month or so. The male's sole purpose after reaching adulthood is to sniff out the female, mate, and then die. So to make that process feasible, the female releases strong pheromones 
that the males can detect from many miles away. After they mate, the female spends the majority of the remainder of her life laying eggs, while the male may mate several more times. Now, as they can't eat, they only survive for about a week as adults. Wild. So like many moths, this species remains a great example of just how diverse life on Earth can be. Number five, stonefish. Well, looks can be deceiving, can't they? This small breed of fish found in the Indo-Pacific area resembles a rock bed and has sharp fins that can inject a highly toxic venom, a sadistic amalgam of horrifying features. It is often touted as the world's most venomous fish, and you can even die if you accidentally step on one. An excellent ambush hunter by nature, it waits patiently for something to come by, then attacks and swallows its prey in as little as 0.02 seconds. The stonefish is generally an aquatic organism, but as long as its surrounding area remains moist, it can even survive up to 24 hours by absorbing oxygen through its skin, making it a threat from every possible angle. Despite all its horrifying traits, however, the stonefish is a delicacy in some places, but we can all still agree on the fact that evolution has made this fish a particularly strange one. Number four, red pandas. Possibly the cutest animal on this list, these cute pandas were first written about in 13th century China. One strange part about them is that despite having a digestive system of a carnivore, their diet mostly consists of bamboo and fruit, which means they can only absorb about a quarter of the nutrients from their usual food. Also strange is that to make up for the lack of nutrients, they have a super slow metabolism, meaning they can't produce much body heat, which sounds like it could be a serious problem, especially when you live high up in trees in the Himalayas. Also, because of this weird trait, red pandas usually have to live in areas with abundant trees and bamboo, and believe it or not, they typically have to spend up to 13 hours a day eating, which is around 20,000 bamboo leaves consumed every single day just to survive. So if you want to pet them, you are going to need a lot of vegetation. They will undoubtedly be an exotic pet, and given how cute they look, they will probably be worth having. Number three, ogre spiders. Spiders evolved over 380 million years ago, so it should not come as a surprise that some of them have become truly odd creatures. The weirdest of the bunch is the ogre spider. The ogre spiders are rare spiders known for their unusual trapping method of net casting, that is, catching their prey by throwing a web on them. They do this by using an ancient organ called cribellum, which loosely translates to little sieve. There is one more interesting fact about these spiders. Their eyes have no irises. That means sunlight destroys their retina every single morning. Luckily for them, they only take up to two hours to regrow their retinas every evening. These eyes allow them to gather 1,500 times more photons than our eyes. And their exceptional night vision is unmatched by any cats or owls. These unusual spiders are often found on fine summer nights among gardens, shrubs, and trees in southeastern Australia. Number two, Babirusa. And here is yet another exotic mammal. This one comes all the way from Indonesia. We are talking about the Babirusa, which is often also called the deer pig, as it resembles a bizarre mix of the two. This is a unique type of species of wild pig with tusks that grow through the roof of its mouth curving backward over the front of the face and toward the forehead. These tusks keep growing all through its life as they are actually overgrown teeth that force their way out and sometimes even kill the animal by growing into its brain. Fortunately for the deer pig, this agonizing death is usually avoided when the tusks get worn down or broken off during fights. Though their tusks are far too brittle for fights, that does not stop males from using them protect their turf. The Babirusa is surely one of the most intimidating and strangest looking omnivores to have ever lived. Now we've seen nine odd animals that look like evolution's red-headed stepchildren, 
but there's still one aquatic weirdo we haven't seen. But first, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Be sure to turn on notifications. There are tons more awesome videos coming out each and every week. Also, just one interesting question. Which animal from today's list would you most want to have as a strange pet? Be sure to let us know in the comments section below. Number 1. Narwhal We are rounding off this list with possibly the most bizarre and extraordinary species of marine animals that evolution has given us, the narwhal. This medium-sized whale possesses a large, long, and pointed tusk from a protruding canine tooth, which gives this beast an utterly macabre look. Scientists are not actually sure about its enlarged tooth, but because of the fact that it contains up to 10 million nerve endings inside, some of them argue that its unique-looking tusk acts as some kind of sensor. The narwhal lives predominantly in the Arctic waters. And as it has very few predators to its name because of its incredible sensory abilities, indeed, sea creatures of all kinds fall victim to this fearsome species, essentially placing the narwhal at the very top of the food chain. The only real threats for the narwhals are the killer whales. Sometimes they journey up to the Arctic regions to prey on these incredible animals.